coming up on this edition of Access Virginia Beach. They're back, all 70,000 to be exact. We'll tell you how the first day of school went. And with the new school year comes a new policy. Bring your own device. We'll explain. Plus, find out why this seven-year-old boy is being called a hero. That and more are coming up as we access Virginia Beach. Hello and welcome to VBTV's Access Virginia Beach, a program that informs you of news and events from around our city and schools. I'm Veronica Coleman. Thanks for joining us. It's that time of the year again, back to school. And schools around the division rolled out the welcome mat for the big day. Let's take a look at how the first day went at one local elementary school. As the sun slowly rose at John B. Dye Elementary, buses filled with students lined the driveway. Of course, the first day of school is always an exciting one, but today was made even more special. So welcome back, all right? Y'all ready to have a good day? Yeah. That's good. How many first graders do we have? More than 20 soldiers from Fort Story helped make the day run a little smoother for both students and staff. Right now we're going, we're helping the kids migrate back into school and then we're going to different classes and then we're just going to sit and help with the teachers any way we can. The soldiers are from the 11th Transportation Battalion. Having them in the classroom provides a positive role model for kids. Soldiers are, are looked, up, looked up to as, uh, as valued members of the community and uh, are an inspiration for our young children. And we like to, to put our best foot forward and, and put them on display for the kids to, uh, to admire and to, uh, and to interact with. It will be a fun year. Love, Mrs. Chevarotti. They will be helping right. teachers like Mrs. Chevarotti for the entire week. They're helping us with preparing our classrooms for not only this week, but for the, for the rest of the year. I have some of my Fort Story soldiers cutting things and copying and sharpening pencils. And then this morning they were also helping the children do their craft at their table and laughing with them and having fun with them. And it's just awesome. Not only do they serve our country, but they help to build community here in our, in our school. The school has been partnering with Fort Story for more than 15 years. It has been a great partnership yes. that we have with Fort Story. And continually, uh, we can rely on the soldiers to come through for us at the beginning of the year, and it's just wonderful. The school division welcomed nearly 70,000 students for the first day of school. Parents, if you're looking for bus routes, school hours, or immunization requirements, check out the school division's website, bbschools.com. And while students around the city were settling in for the first week of school, the Virginia Beach School Board was also welcoming a new member. Mr. Green, will you repeat after me? Please raise your right hand. Hugh Green Hugh is Green. the newest appointed member of the school board. During their September 5th meeting, members unanimously appointed him States. to fill the vacant at-large school board seat. Green now holds the seat vacated by Todd Davidson. Davidson left this summer to take an out-of-state job. Green has volunteered in, in a variety of capacities within the school division and served on the Community Advisory Committee on Gifted Education. He will fill the seat until a new member is elected during the November 6th election. With the start of the new school year comes a new policy. Bring your own device to school. Here's Access reporter Stephanie Sutton with the details. iPads, e-readers, and even smartphones. You name it, they know it. Today's students live in an age of technology, and a new initiative is allowing them access to the technology that they need to succeed. Instead of having to power down when they come to school, they can keep that power up and continue with um, the, the process of learning the way that they're comfortable, that the way they're used to, the way, uh, the way they learn uh, or discover knowledge. It just continues naturally, so it keeps them in the 21st century. Bring Your Own Device, or BYOD for short, is an initiative that allows students to bring personal devices to school for instructional purposes under the guidance of a teacher. So allowing students to bring their own technology, technology they like using, technology that uh, contains programs that they're used to using, um, and technology that's free and that they are comfortable with, can open up learning opportunities by allowing them more access to technology. With teacher approval, students can use their devices to access the internet and collaborate with students. 
But what about students who don't have a personal device? Will they be left out? Absolutely not. That's, that's where our technology in the classroom comes, in, comes into play. We provide for those students who don't have their own technology, and it also spreads the wealth among uh, other classrooms. This interactive learning environment is available for all levels of instruction, elementary, middle, and high school. All will be closely monitored. Because uh, they have to use the Virginia Beach uh, wireless network, they don't have the opportunity to use 3G, they don't have uh, the opportunity to use any other wireless connection. Those, um, Facebook, for example, uh, other email resources are blocked. With proper policies and ground rules in place, the BYOD initiative will shift teachers and students into a more modern learning environment and open up access for technology. Reporting for Access Virginia Beach, I'm Stephanie Sutton. For more information on the Bring Your Own Device program, log on to vbschools.com. For the past 30 years, the award-winning Virginia Beach Crime Solvers program has remained the same. Police publicize certain crimes and ask anyone with information to contact the Crime Solvers tip line. Since 1982, more than 14,000 crimes have been solved with the help of the anonymous tip service. 7,000 arrests have been accredited to Crime Solver tips. The success of our program to the community, uh, they are out there, they are the eyes for the police when we're not available. Crime Solvers of Virginia Beach works to solve crimes and arrest wanted felons. We also owe the success of the program to the media. They're the ones who are reaching out to the public, making them aware of what our problems are and allowing them to reach out to us. Some individuals that we didn't even know they were suspects in crimes, um, we have paid out over $800,000 in tip money rewards to the public. Tips are kept so secretive that... As you can see, we use an older um, phone from the 1980s. It has no caller ID on it, and there is no way... And that's our crime line that's ringing. Tips have led to arrests and homicides, armed robberies, and assaults. The steps taken to get involved have remained simple and discreet. By phone, you can call 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. You can also text BBTIPS at 274-637 and then text your tip, or you can log on to crimesolver.com and enter your tip that way. Funding for the Virginia Beach Crime Solvers Program comes from people like you, businesses, and special events. Unexpected falls. Nobody expects them and nobody needs them. Last March, it happened to Dolores Herrett when she fell on her back deck. Luckily, a knight in shining armor, her seven-year-old grandson, came to the rescue. He was recently honored for his courage. This is WKS signing on for Thursday, September 6, 2012. The morning announcements begin every day at Kempfield Elementary, but today featured a young hero and a special guest. Well, good morning. It's a pleasure to be at Kempfield Elementary School, and it's a pleasure to recognize a very fine young man who, in my opinion, is a hero. Mayor Sessoms presented Ty Lyons with a life-saving award for rescuing his grandmother, who had just fallen. Well, I was uh, laying out there because uh, I fell on the black ice. I had gone out to let the dog in who had just gone out early in the morning and uh, I didn't see the ice because it, it looked like it was just wet but it was black ice and I fell down and I called to him and uh, he came out and uh, he saw how I was and he he called his uncle right away and he was a comfort to be there he stayed with me the whole time till uh, the help came. Tide's time spent with the Boy Scouts helped him prepare for emergency situations like this. I was sleeping and then um, my grandma was calling the dog in and, um, and then she didn't know there was black ice on the deck so and then she fell down and I heard a boom so I didn't know what it was and then she was on the floor and she didn't and we didn't know how to um, get her up. So he provided her a pillow and blanket using his best bedside manner. Called my uncle and kept her company until she came. Just doing what every Boy Scout is trained to do, helping those who need it, especially his grandma. With the kids rolling back into the hallways of learning, many parents out there believe that the summer fun season at the beach is over, right? 
Better Think Again. The annual Neptune Festival Boardwalk Weekend will once again be attracting thousands of guests for its 39th annual run. The Beak Weekend starts on Friday, September 28th, and the fun continues through Sunday the 30th. The event offers outdoor concerts, nonstop activities, an art and craft show, parade, and of course, the internationally renowned North American Sand Sculpting Competition. The fun takes place all along the boardwalk. Exact times and locations are listed on your screen. A complete list of events is also available online at NeptuneFestival.com. Boardwalk Weekend attracts more than 500,000 attendees and has been ranked among the top 10 festivals in the Southeast. Coming up next on this edition of Access Virginia Beach, we'll show you how the Adopt a Program keeps our city clean year round. And it's the start of the school year, and this teacher has already won an award for his unique environmental lessons. We'll have that and more when we return. Hey, fellow explorers, hop aboard the Airship Curiosity for the latest How in the World. Find out what in the world football has to do with Sir Isaac Newton's second law of motion. Learn a cool hands-on experiment from Professor Phineas Omnibus and discover how in the world does a hot air balloon work. Just the normal stuff that occurs around here. Join me, Pilot Lindy, on the next How in the World. Virginia Beach Schools Parent Connection is your one-stop resource for information and events which support families and promote student success. Parents, looking for some assistance in helping your child select a college? Want to learn ways to maximize your child's potential for receiving scholarships, grants, and financial aid? Plan to attend How to Choose the Best College for Your Student and Your Pocketbook, being held at Cox High School, located at 2425 Shorehaven Drive, on Thursday, September 27th, from 7 to 9 p.m. This workshop is free, but registration is required. Please call 263-1075 to reserve your seat. Do you have a child who seems to be resisting your every request? Some kids just seem to be born more curious, adventurous, powerful, persistent, and sensitive. Attend Taming the Spirited Child, sponsored by Coles Cares Family Forum, being held at CHKD in Norfolk on October 16th from 10 a.m. till noon. Dr. Michael Popkin will present strategies for raising challenging children without breaking their spirits. Parents will learn to recognize the characteristics of a spirited child, ways to build a relationship while setting limits, the dynamics of power, and how to handle anger with practical positive discipline for spirited kids. You can register for this free workshop by calling 668-7500. To see a complete calendar of September and October events, visit the Parent Connection page of vbschools.com. Welcome back to Access Virginia Beach. I'm Veronica Coleman. Environmental sustainability, that's what the Virginia Beach Clean Community Commission is all about. Dedicated volunteers work to promote litter prevention, recycling, and environmental awareness. Access reporter Diana Cartwright tells about one program that is making a big difference in our community. Some of the most littered areas in the city are along roadways that go through neighborhoods, but residents can take matters into their own hands and clean up those communities by adopting a spot in Virginia Beach. We have come up with adoptive programs for just about every form of city property that's out there, whether it's a park, a schoolyard, a street, a highway, a beach. The ADOPT-A program, coordinated by Parks and Recreation and the Virginia Beach Clean Community Commission, encourages citizens to take an active role in keeping their city clean. When we first moved in, we noticed a lot of trash, and we just wanted, we take pride in our neighborhood, and you know, I don't live in a dump, so I don't want it to look like a dump. Individuals, organizations, or businesses pick a location and agree to keep that designated area clean for a two-year period, conducting a minimum of one litter cleanup every other month and picking up all types of trash. Uh, items we found, uh, lost cigarette butts, uh, fast food bags, trash can, I mean, uh, beer cans, bo beer bottles, just trash in general. 
Volunteer groups are provided materials to help with cleanup and a sign bearing their name is posted in the area they adopted. Many volunteers find the experience very rewarding. This is where I live and I want it to, to be clean and neighbors, you know, stop by when we're doing it and tell us how much they appreciate it. Thank you. It looks great. You know, and they're probably thinking, oh, they don't want to see it here either, so they're glad somebody's picking it up. Virginia Beach has the largest group of Adopt-a-Spot programs in the state of Virginia, making the resort city a cleaner, more beautiful place for all. New groups are always wanted to adopt a needy area in the city. Again, that number to call is 385-4461. And if you're looking for even more ways to help keep Virginia Beach green, then we have just the event for you. The first annual Hampton Roads Sustainable Living Expo is coming to the Resort City. The two-day event, held at the Convention Center on September 28th and 29th, is designed to educate folks about recycling, energy conservation, and other sustainable practices. There will be a host of exhibits, and the Virginia Aquarium will also be on site with an e-cycling event. The event is free and open to the public. Log on to hrsustainablelivingexpo.com for details. Keeping everyone safe is more than just policing. It takes a community effort. And to increase that community involvement, the police department is opening their doors with an open house event. Mark your calendars for Saturday, October 20th. The second precinct, located in the heart of the resort area, is hosting the second annual community day from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's known as a hearse tool. Back in the day, you used to call that the jaws of life. The event will include demonstrations from not only the police department, but other city agencies and private organizations. We can walk in here. Um, in here is also the identikid. Tours of the police department will also be given. The goal of the event is to make the community a safer place to work and live. We want them to understand that uh, the precinct is a place where they have a friend, um, that uh, we are part of the community, we're here to help the community, not just the Virginia Beach Police Department, but all city agencies. It's an opportunity for city government to provide citizens with a clear-cut example of what we do for them, not only on a day-to-day -day basis, but uh, throughout the year. The Police Department's second precinct, in partnership with the Virginia Beach Human Rights Commission and the Citizens Advisory Committee, are sponsoring the Open House. That date again is Saturday, October 20th. The second precinct is located on 820 Virginia Beach Boulevard, and the event is free and open to the public. The first week of school always brings chaos to the hallways as students and teachers settle into a routine. Any thoughts of going outside would have to wait until the afternoon bus ride home, except at Plaza Middle School in Mr. Carroll's class. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are tree measurers, please start that job up. Very important data. If you are not a tree measurer, keep looking for insects. These environmental activities are one of the reasons Carol recently won the Presidential Innovation Award for Environmental Educators. Uh, what's this guy? Someone figure out what this guy is. Today's lesson brought these life science students outside for some hands-on 21st century learning skills gathered from year-old pine trees. We've got a class of seventh graders monitoring our loblolly pine trees. Oh, yeah, we planted them last spring as bare root seedlings and we're going to grow them for one year and then the students get to take one home if they would like or we're going to plant them throughout the city. Measuring the pines and checking out wildlife kept these students busy. In life science, photosynthesis is one of our major uh, SOLs and it's just nice to kind of have a talk about photosynthesis in a more applied manner by looking at the tree growth and thinking about where they get their, their mass to grow bigger. The Presidential it's Award like recognizes right. outstanding K-12 teachers for excellence uh, in integrating environmental education into lessons and connecting students with their communities. Diversity is good. Diversity is, is the earth working. Plaza uh, received a $2,000 award in which to continue its environmental projects. So as, as one of the many projects that we uh, won the award for, uh, we plant loblolly trees, bare root seedlings in the springtime, and then the same students who planted them, we monitor their growth during the year. Another year of tree planting and oyster reef building are future projects that will be funded by the award money.
And with that, we've come to the end of our show. But if you've missed something, you can view this program online. Log on to vbgov.com media, then under the All Categories button, find and click on Access Virginia Beach. And don't forget that every Monday through Thursday, right after this program, you can catch high school football highlights with an exclusive Virginia Beach locker room program. For everyone here at VBTV, I'm Veronica Coleman. Thanks for watching.